This is a video showing you how I dig up worms and sometimes grubs uh, for the 70 gallon fish tank that I've got for a bunch of local predator fish species that I've caught with my son here in Austin, Texas. Here you go. Oh look, there's a grub. See this grub right here? Right there, grab that one. Grab that grub? Yeah, grab the grub. Here's another one right here. Look, there's two grubs, grab them. Grab them? Yeah, grab those two grubs and then put them in the, in the plastic buck, bucket. Nice. All right, watch out. See these ants? What? Looks like there's some ants right there. So we gotta be careful for ants. Those grubs. Oh, look. So we have this little ditch behind our house that catches kind of all the water from all the surrounding houses. It's a drainage easement for the city of Austin. And so back there, we catch a lot of grasshoppers. And I just wanted to kind of show how easy it was to just go dig into what is just kind of moist dirt that's covered with leaves. It's just kind of looks like compost and a lot of times you can find worms in there and if you can provide food for your own aquarium it's way cheaper that way to take care of fish especially fish like like these that are predator fish that you know need to eat a lot of protein and and things like that i do still feed them fish food but i don't i do like to give them actual worms and and little fish sometimes ghost shrimp as well oh, from uh, the aquarium oh, store you. but the the okay, best thing to do is to feed them these things that you right. just get yourself out of the ground yeah we get it some worms bite some worms all right look you see those worms right there i see two all right get them whoa look at this big old grub rudy look that's huge give that to me all right put it put it in there where? In the bucket. That was the biggest grub I've ever seen. That was the biggest grub that I've seen. I think they are. Bunch of worms. <laughs> so with a good haul of worms and grubs, maybe it took us 15 minutes worth of digging and picking to get everything that you see in the video here. But uh, it's really simple if you can find the right spot. It just has to be moist and have some dead vegetation on top of it that has been there for a while. It's really easy to find in the springtime. But uh, now let's go in and see what happens when we give them to our fish. Let's see. Let's just start with the big one. All right, here we go. So as you can see, the bass absolutely smokes it. Uh, but what I did think was interesting is that that big grub was almost too big for the bass to swallow. So he kind of ran around the tank, running away from all the other fish, which were super hungry, who were also trying to, I think, steal it from him, even though there's just no way any of the other species in this tank would have been able to eat that big old grub without me cutting it up into little pieces for him. I've got, I've got this bass, I've got a bunch of perch, and then I have two Rio Grande cichlids in here, which are all native to Austin uh, in Ladybird Lake. But uh, next, let's put in the rest of the grubs that we caught. I think it's hilarious how this perch comes up and misses it at first and then rebounds it. But I, it's just fascinating to watch everything in slow motion to see how they use the suction of the water to, to suck in their prey. I just think it's so cool. So one of the cool things that you kind of get to know the personality of the fish in your tank is they're in there for longer. And this little fish right here that snags that last grub is the opportunist of the bunch. And he's the smallest fish. And he actually has a blind eye because he had a scratch on his eye uh, when I caught him. And so he's blind in one eye and yet has the ability to sneak up and get that last little grub before all the other fish do. So let's go ahead and switch to worms and see how this goes. Make sure it's in focus. All right, guys, here we go. So when it comes to feeding the fish worms, I'll usually feed like five to eight worms at a time because if you don't, that big perch right there, I call her Bertha, um, that perch will come in and just take each worm one by one or the bass will and so if you want the little fish to have a chance 
you kind of have to throw in a bunch of worms at the same time, which kind of creates chaos. But when you slow it down like this, it's really cool to watch. I love it too when the little fish are swimming around and can't fit the entire worm in their mouth and they have to essentially run away while they try to stuff themselves with that worm before the other fish come in and steal it. What a hilarious problem to have. So that's it. Go out, dig up some worms, use them to feed your aquarium or to catch some fish. Uh, I've really built up some awesome core memories with my son, uh, who's four, and he loves to feed the fish. He loves to go fishing with me on little adventures, and even just going out and digging up these worms is going to be something fun for him to look back on, and if I'm being honest, it's really for me. But uh, I've really enjoyed this, and if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. And realistically, I want this channel to be about fly fishing and fly tying, but this will be a fun little side quest that I go on every once in a while. Thanks for watching.